There are a ton of different attacks happening in the cryptocurrency industry right now, but why am I focused in on something as easy as sim swapping? Well, because one, it's super easy. You can use mine. Use your easy button to find my easy button. And two, because most of the high value stolen amounts that come from sim swapping are happening to one particular cell provider. T-Mobile's best effort to fix this has failed. They've been in the news for years because of SIM swap issues, and now they're back in the news again because of Money Skeleton, also known as Vitalik Buterin, and his SIM swap issue because of T-Mobile. Also, there's been another issue with a SIM swapping of a Kroll employee who happened to use T-Mobile as well. So there's a reoccurring theme of T-Mobile users and them getting SIM swapped. Now, I didn't do a deep dive of the sort of security controls that T-Mobile implemented during their first slew of SIM swap hacks on their service, but without going into too much detail on how to actually do a SIM swap, really all you need is some additional checks to make sure that the person that is trying to do the swap is who they say that they are. And if you can do that, then you can prevent most SIM swaps because really it's just a social engineering exercise for most of these script kitties out there. There's no real true hacking involved in the majority of these sort of SIM swap attacks. Let's hop onto the computer and take a look at some of T-Mobile's not so great history when it comes to SIM swapping. So just using good old Google, I was able to find a SIM swapping event back in 2021, June of 2021, where a woman in Pennsylvania had lost $20,000 worth of cryptocurrency um, from a T-Mobile uh, SIM swap attack. And, um, you know, I think her $20,000 worth of cryptocurrency was actually at the time of their writing was 65000 that she lost. So... Um, I, I definitely feel really bad for this person, but again, this just shows you just another example of uh, T-Mobile just not having the right controls in place. Uh, literally a month later, there was another um, investor in cryptocurrency, um, and they also uh, suffered a SIM swap issue that was T-Mobile related. Um, this gentleman here lost $50,000 worth of Bitcoin at the time of this writing. And um, again, feel horrible for him. I mean, he lost 1.6 Bitcoin, as you can see here. And um, again, this was also in Pennsylvania. So, you know, I don't think area matters. <laughs> it is kind of funny that this is happening in Pennsylvania. But what's not funny is people losing their money to SIM swaps. Uh, here's Krebs on security, a uh, pretty well-known um, security researcher. Uh, he made a great report on the Kroll employee that um, was SIM swapped. So uh, basically, Kroll was doing some um, damage control sort of work for uh, BlockFi and FTX. And one of their employees... Uh, <laughs> was SIM swapped. Um, and what's crazy is that they're saying that it was highly sophisticated SIM swap attack. Um, I don't believe that one bit. SIM swapping is not highly sophisticated. Um, I'm sure whatever that they did was probably going onto LinkedIn and just figuring out stuff. So uh, that was that. And then the big one to me is um, uh, Buterin's X account being hacked in a T-Mobile SIM swap. Uh, this is another T-Mobile uh, SIM swap incident, this time happening to poor old Buterin. Um, you could read here uh, what exactly happened. Um, you know, there was this post that I'll show you here that was called out by uh, this uh, Twitter X user that uh, Vitalik Buterin was quote unquote promoting uh, some, some cryptocurrency NFT thing. And, you know, People lost out on 690000 And here is some screenshot here of what uh, Vitalik said. Basically, you know, hey, my T-Mobile account was SIM swapped. Um, you know, he's talking about how they could possibly uh, or you yourself could possibly increase your security by like removing your phone number, etc. But yeah, even good old money skeleton got hacked. Now I have a question for my audience here. 
Were you aware of T-Mobile and their issues with SIM swapping, especially when it has to deal with cryptocurrency and how successful these sort of script kitties, threat actors, whatever you want to call them are when it comes to basically SIM swapping using a T-Mobile SIM? I mean, it's absolutely insane how many times this has happened and it continues to happen. And I have yet to see any reporting on this. Maybe T-Mobile's hiding it from the public. Maybe they will try to shut down my video. But I want you all to think about this and also be cognizant of the service providers that you use. Don't just get into a service provider like T-Mobile or AT&T or Verizon because your friend is in it or because your mom and dad used it so you're going to use it. Actually take a look at historical events, the security that they have, and upgrade, change, change your service provider because ultimately that's going to prevent you from situations like this. Now, granted, I don't know what AT&T does or what Verizon does versus, you know, a T-Mobile. I don't work for them and I don't truly even know what T-Mobile is doing, but based off of the events that are happening, I don't think that they're doing enough to protect your assets. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you like that little analysis of T-Mobile and SIM swapping, please put in the comments below why you did, or if you hate it and you don't want to see any more of this, put a comment below because of, you know, how much you hate my videos. I love comments either way and I will respond to everybody and anybody. Otherwise, put an F in the chat for me and put an F in the chat for T-Mobile as well. And you know the deal, peace.